job where we are going to create this design. And I'm instead of clicking create area or line, I'm going to go over here to these specialty guys. So the specialty guys work differently from normal. Normally I would circle whatever area I would like to trace, right click to make it a shape. But for these, they react with a 1, 2, 1, 2 to make kind of an area. Basically, this is going to be a nice raised thing instead of a not so raised thing. So I'm going to start with this one right here. And you're just going to see me tracing it 1, 2, 1, 2. And I'm trying to make my stitch points into the center of this black line here. If I need to zoom in, which I'm going to need to do, to make that better, I totally can by doing it just like this. So I want it to be right up on the edge of my lines here. Because the least mistakes I make now, the less I'm going to have to correct later on. Um, if you end up making a mistake though, don't worry, there are ways to fix it afterwards. It just can be a little bit more of a headache because you just spent all this time tracing out or, and or drawing on a tablet this design and now it doesn't look right. Um, and I'm going to have to fix it is not something you want to try to shoot for, it's something you want to end up with. Um, basically, you see, it looks like that, and this is a nice raised stitch. Because of what I want to do here, I, I do want to try to limit the amount of jump stitches I end up with, and in order to do that, I'm going to put some connecting lines where I can that just cut right through the stitches just like this. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm making it so stop sewing this type of stitch, start sewing a running stitch to connect to this next line so that way my machine doesn't have to stop and cut. Um, this does save a little bit of longevity of your machine as well as save a little bit of time when your machine is actually stitching out because it doesn't have to stop, cut, and then continue to start over again. So basically, whenever you can get away with that, do it, um, is what I'm saying. If you don't quite understand what I'm talking about, that's okay. This is a little bit more of an advanced thing. You can just draw these other shapes and ignore this little line and what it means, but it is going to be easier on you later on if you, if you know what it means to begin with. Um, so what I'm doing here with those squared points is I'm actually making it a nice rounded edge there instead of a, or sorry, a 90 degree angled edge instead of a rounded edge there. What that's going to do is make this a very nice sharp point. And you can put the different parts on top of each other, you just have to click it and move it on top. Afterwards, that can be a little tricky, just bear with it, it will work eventually, I promise. And boom. So there it is, nice sharp crisp point. And we're going to do another running stitch right here to here. Now we're going to do another running stitch from right here to here. If you have the wrong thing selected as you just saw, it doesn't do what you want it to do because it can't read your mind. So you want to move you right there. Okay. 